Today on Trisha, a blizzard slammed our studio. Our studio audience members couldn't make it to the show, but it didn't stop our angry guests from coming here to uncover the truth. That's my baby. I was there too. Okay. You gotta get out of my face. No, no, no. To everybody. You were freaking insane. The whole four days. You were insane. He survived a brutal car accident that gave him a brain injury. My car flipped three times. I laid in the hospital for two weeks in a coma. He doesn't remember cheating. He told her that he has a fat tongue used for I'm not There's using. There's gonna be a problem. I'm not using my excuse. That, he doesn't remember giving her an STD. If I didn't test. give you chlamydia, how why am I having this, sex with anybody why else? Why is the test If this I gave you chlamydia, answer that question. Okay. Answer that question. Yeah. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Because today, issues much bigger than cheating will be exposed. He physically threatens me, gets in my face. The Has he put his hands on you? He's pushed me. Get out. She gave her husband the ultimate birthday gift. We invited Megan over for a threesome. I had told her that Dusty had never had a threesome before. Are you mad? <laughs> Are you mad? Sometimes. <laughs> Three weeks later, the other woman was pregnant. I made a huge mistake bringing Megan into my marriage. No. So who would look after the baby? Me and Dusty. Do you and Dusty take care of my like, child? She's well, horrible. she's not a very good parent. Is there an attraction between you and Megan? Not anymore. Will the DNA end their swinging ways? So yes. who wants to open the envelope? Or do you all want to do it together? The DNA results determine that Dusty... Today on Trisha. Welcome, Nikki. Nikki is here today because she fears the love of her life, Mike, is nothing but a lying, dirty cheater. For starters, Nikki suspects Mike gave her an STD. And if that's not bad enough, she found messages Mike sent to other women offering them sexual encounters. Now, Due to a car accident, Mike has a seizure disorder that he claims causes memory loss. But Nikki suspects it's just a cover-up for his lies. So before we go any further, let's hear some of Mike's other excuses. I am a walking miracle, bottom line. A few years ago, I was in a terrible accident. I should probably be dead right now. My car flipped three times and I was ejected through the windshield. I laid in the hospital for two weeks in a coma. When I came to, I didn't recognize anyone. The accident caused me to suffer from seizures and memory loss. Sometimes I don't even remember what happened the night before. So when Nikki gets in my face about messages on Facebook, I don't even remember that. Nikki gets all worked up about text messages from different women in my phone. Nikki likes to smell my private parts when I come in the house. She think I'm out here having sex with other women. I just came from outside and I'm sweating. I want to take a shower. I'm not hiding anything. When it comes back that I pass this test, I want her to get on her hands and knees and apologize to me. Wow. Well, Nikki, tell me about some of the text messages you found on Mike's phone. Basically, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm laying next to him. I don't want to wake him up. He has a seizure disorder. You know what I mean? Yeah, he yeah. takes medicine. His phone is on vibrate all the time. He clears his text messages and his phone calls every day. Let me mind you, every day he clears them right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, it buzzes. I'm like, all right, I know his lock code. I've seen him do his lock code before. I'm, now, I'm, I'm maybe a little suspicious, you know what I mean? Yeah, what did I, you see? What did you see? I go on the text message, and it's under a guy's name, but it's a girl. She's like, can I come over? I don't want your girl to find out if we're going to have sexual relations. I don't want your girl to walk in on me. <sighs> now, first off, if this is a girl you already know, she knows you have a girl. You she, know what I mean? The whole, did you try texting her back? I did. I texted her all the, all the, the whole time I texted her back. Well, I pretending her, to be Mike. Right, and right. what was she saying? She was saying that she was going to come over, but she didn't have no gas money. I said, come on over. I got you, babe. I got you. So he, I stopped texting. I start calling. It's a Beyonce ringtone. Now, what guy do you know that has a Beyonce yeah. ringtone unless he's... You know what I yeah, mean? Did you talk to this girl? I talked to her for a second. She's like, um, he's not the only one, or I'm not the only one that he's cheating with. He's a hood rat. I was like, obviously, you're the hood rat. 
because wow. there's you know what I mean there's situations. So when, when you actually said something to Mike about this, I'm guessing oh, you I waited. Him. I waited. Yeah. I waited a couple. I, I waited a couple minutes. Let myself calm down because yeah. I didn't want to wake him up. But I shook him awake. I'm not gonna lie. I shook him awake. Did he claim? He says that it's somebody that he used to mess around with years before I was ever with him. Yeah. And all this other stuff, which they, a typical man would say. Yeah, but you is know it what true? I mean? He gave you an STD. He did, because I know I've been faithful. You know what I mean? And I don't know wow. what he's been doing. I went to the hospital. I go get. I go get checked. So I go to the hospital. And you go and get checked. Yes. So you don't trust him. No, I go get checked every six months as a woman should. You yeah. know what I mean? So I go get checked. The doctor, Whoa. the doctor calls me with that phone call. You know what I mean? I have him come to the office. He's telling me that he doesn't remember anything. He doesn't remember so, having having sexual relations with any other woman. So is that the unprotected. excuse because of his accident? The, the, the seizures. Yes, the seizures. Okay, but does he party? Does he go out? Does he have fun? Yeah, we have fun. We go out to the clubs. We're, we're, we live in Las Vegas. We yeah. go out to the club. We have fun. We go, so we, he can do all he of that. He remembers all that. So now you think he's he's cheating because of that? Those messages. What are the things that make you he suspicious? He went to look. He went to. He comes in the house. Let me tell you. You really sniff his private parts. I, exactly. You ever smelled something off? Yeah, I've smelled something off, and we've argued about it. But you know, I love this man. This is like the love of my life. I love this man. I've changed my life into the whole 360. Why? In what way? Because you, you really when I was there for him. When I first got with him, his seizures were so were were so bad. I was in the hospital. I have been with him a month. It was New Year's, not this year, last year. I was in the hospital for three days in the waiting room with him or in the waiting room while he was in the hospital. So do you take care of him at home? Yes, I do. Food, clothes, all that. I cook, I clean, I make sure his drawers is washed, all that. Do you think he's using you? Now, using in... I do. I do. You know what? You I'm going to say I do. You know what? There's no doubt in my mind. I do think he's using me. I think that he preys on bigger women. And this what is do not you mean me. Bigger women? I'm a bigger woman. Why do you think he preys on? Because so his other females have been bigger as well. So you think he gets women, these are my words, with a lower self-esteem and uses them? He thinks that he's got one right now. That's what he, I, I believe that he thinks that he has one right now. But I'm big and sexy and I love myself and I've had no problem getting what I want. No problem getting who so I is, need. So is he talking about, has he ever mentioned marriage or engagement? Yes, he's, he's, the first three months we were together, he told me he wanted to, he said that he had never met a girl like me ever. So has he bought you a ring? No, he has no money to buy no ring, and he won't get no job. He says that he goes out and, and uh, puts in applications, but he goes outside and, and hangs out with his homeboys. So and then he comes in after that, he comes in and takes a shower right after. Now, let me tell you something. It is not summer. It is winter. So why is he taking a shower the minute he exactly. gets through the door? Exactly. And he takes, every morning he wakes up at 6 or 7 o'clock, he takes a shower and gets ready. He sits down at the computer. He don't do nothing. Okay, and so when what, he walked me, out the house, what happened at the hospital? At the hospital, he had a he had a he had an episode. He goes into some episodes where basically the seizures they don't stop. Right. Okay. And I'm there through the whole the whole thing. I'm the one that wakes up with this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I go to the hospital with him. I got his phone. He's laid out. He has um, some medicine in his yeah. system or whatever, so he doesn't know that I'm looking through his phone. Oh. So basically, I go through the phone. They're t uh, tagged as a social network, just like Facebook is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Women on there? Women, yes, very slutty. If you, they, they're looking for, you know what I mean? The Is he answering them? Yes, he's answering them. And then he's deleting them thinking that I can't see his archive messages. So I go on his phone, because like when you, when you delete a message, it yeah, goes yeah. into your archives, and archived is your older messages, so you just like an that? email. I checked it. It was a very explicit message from this one girl. Saying what? He told her that he has a fat tongue used for and that she has some nice lips for the for the, for some the same thing on him. So, so he let me, let he me cut to the chase. Okay. What are you gonna do if the lie detector test comes back and says your worst fears are realized? He's been cheating. Look, I've had no problem holding my own. I've been on my own since yeah, I was thirteen. Yeah, but you 13. love him. You love him. I love him. I do with all my heart. This has been something that I've never experienced with a man before in my life. Yeah. I've had bad times with with men. I've never been in a relationship. So you're gonna finish it with him if he's been lying? Really? I'm, I'm done. I'm really? done. I'm done. I'm getting my stuff. I live with him. I'm getting my stuff because I can hold my own. So, okay. So, if, if he fails the lie detector test, you're out of it. If he passes, I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of apology. Of, of course. I'll do whatever he wants me to do. It's going right. to be an apology. I love this man. This okay. is the love of my life. This All is right. How I well, feel. Nikki, Nikki's convinced that Mike is a cheater, so he agreed to take a lie detector test to prove his innocence. And we have the results. But first, it's time to meet Mike. So, Mike, come on out. 
coming up. I'm not There's using. Gonna be a I'm okay, not let's using, keep I'm going. Not using, Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Because I don't like to, people to tell me that I'm a liar. And later, she gave her husband a birthday threesome. I made a huge mistake bringing Megan into my marriage. Three weeks later, the other woman was pregnant. No. So who would look after the baby? Me and Dusty. Do you want Dusty take care of my like, child? Shame. That's freaking well, well, horrible. She's not a very good parent. Lovers' lies wow, and ugly truths. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Today on Trisha. I am a walking miracle, bottom line. A few years ago, I was in a terrible accident. I should probably be dead right now. The accident caused me to suffer from seizures and memory loss. So when Nikki gets in my face about messages on Facebook, I don't even remember that. When it comes back that I pass this test, I want her to get on her hands and knees and apologize to me. Is it true he gave you an STD? He did. Because I know I've been faithful. So, so he me, doesn't, let he me doesn't... cut to the chase. Okay. What are you going to do if the lie detector test comes back and says he's been cheating? I'm done. I'm really? done. Nikki's convinced that Mike is a cheater, so he agreed to take a lie detector test to prove his innocence. And we have the results. But first, it's time to meet Mike. So, Mike, come on out. No, no, no. It ain't even like that. It ain't even like that. Okay. We'll all see. That, all that nonsense you talking, it does not go down like that. We'll see. Oh, it does so not how go does down it like go that. down? It does what, not what, go down like that. Where is she wrong? She's saying that I'm cheating yeah. and doing all this stuff. I am not cheating. On tagged. On that network tag, you, yeah. you, were, you what, what was the message about the fat tongue or something like that? And... Okay, I, I sent a message. I did, I did send a message. Oh, you did? Oh, yes, oh I, okay, I, I so, you lied. so you lied about the oh, message, Oh, hang on, right? hang on, let's hear this. I did send a message to the female. Right, and female. I never And I never got a message back. And so you're in a relationship, yes. and you send that message, why? Because I, it was a social network, I just wanted to have some fun. You don't send just sexual... Just conversations. No, there is really? no conversation that should be even sexual related if we're together. Did you know this? No, I knew this about the, the message, but I didn't it. know he wrote but the, it. The, but, I ain't, but the thing about it Come is... On. The Let's thing hear about, about the it other is, messages. I didn't never, I never text her a message saying that I want to have sex with her. But, you te but you're texting her your number, so what do you think Did you send a number? I sent, I sent my number. And yes, his name, I, so I what do you think number. comes from... So, hang on, if you're just doing it for a joke, wouldn't you make up a name and a number? I mean, I would just, I would maybe make up a name and make up a number. But you didn't. But all they got to do is click on the profile and go to my profile page and see that's not my name. So why would you do that? I was what just joking you? around. Just joking around, having some fun. You don't joke like that. You joke around other like times? I joked around, had fun with a lot of people. I've with joked women. around with, yeah, with ex-girlfriends, people I've known for years, people what, I've known since your, high what's school. What's your idea of jokes, sending sexually explicit messages? It was just joking around, sending messages like that. He keeps telling me that he doesn't remember sending the message. The sexually transmitted disease yeah, you got. What, what, what about it? I didn't bring it to her, because I don't go nowhere. I'm not with other girls. So you're saying all the time you've been together, you've never gone with another no. girl? Never no. been any overlap, no. never any ex no. that you've hooked up or anything? No. So you're going to pass the lie detector test? Yes. Flying colors. And what do you want to happen if you do pass the When lie I pass the lie detector test, I want her to look me face to face in my eyes and apologize. Mm -hmm. I would like you to have a piece of paper out here so she can sign it and write He's it down. He's trying to be funny, but it's I want, cool. I want her to get He's on her knees yeah. and apologize to me. Okay, and let then me, I'm let probably going to hit a backflip off the stage. Okay. I'm, I'm not getting on my knees. As you all know, last night, Mike sat down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator and polygraph examiner, because he's determined, as you heard, to prove that Nikki is wrong about him. So it's time to meet Tim Acosta. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Tim. I'm just reading from here, and Tim is going to tell us whether you were lying or whether you were truthful. So here we go. Mike, we asked you, are you in love with Nikki? And you said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Mike was being truthful. Hey, so it's working. It, test is working. We asked you, are you using Nikki to buy you clothes and to provide you with shelter? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Mike was being truthful. There you go. We asked you, when Nikki contracted chlamydia, did you give it to her as a result of you cheating with another woman? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Mike was being truthful. Right. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman Nikki called after she caught uh, her texting your phone? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Mike was being truthful. Hey. We asked you, are you cheating mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. Nikki you and you using your disability, your seizure disorder, as an excuse to cover up your infidelity? You said no. Tim?
Coming up, today issues much bigger than cheating will be exposed. He physically threatens me, gets in my face. Can Has he put his hands on you? He's pushed me. Get out. But first, she gave her husband a birthday threesome. I made a huge mistake bringing Megan into my marriage. Three weeks later, the other woman was pregnant. No. So who would look after the baby? Me and Dusty. Do you and Dusty take care of my like, child? Shame. That's freaking well, horrible. Well, she's not a very good parent. Lovers' lies and ugly truths. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Today on Trisha. This is Messina, and backstage is her husband, Dusty. One year ago, Messina surprised Dusty with what some men would say is the ultimate birthday gift. A threesome. And they did it with this woman, Megan. Now, it, w it was a decision that may have ruined her marriage. Three weeks later, Megan discovered she was pregnant with her now six-week-old son, Bryson. Today, Messina not only fears that Dusty is the father, but that Megan is out to steal her husband, too. Watch this. I made a huge mistake bringing Megan into my marriage. My husband knew I was bisexual from the beginning of our relationship. For his birthday, we invited Megan over for a threesome. He did not want to have sex with her. I'm the one that crossed the line. Three weeks later, I got a phone call from Megan saying that she was pregnant. The only thing I could think was, oh The thought of her having my husband's baby makes me feel angry. The other thing that makes me sick is she's now starting to cross lines. She calls him baby, she touches him, she says things like, look what we made. This was supposed to be fun and now it's turned into a dramatic, crazy mess. I played with fire, and now I'm dealing with the blisters. Wow, Messina, so let me get this right. So when you and Dusty met up, you, you, you were, came clean, you are bisexual. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How did you find Megan? I've known Megan for a long time. Right. She stayed with me when she was pregnant with her first child, which was about eight or nine years ago. Right. And, you know, I took care of her. We lost touch for about two, eight years, got hooked back up, and then one thing led to another, and here we are. Did she know she was what, lesbian, bisexual, what? Well, previously, she, when I knew her before, she was actually in a relationship with a female family member of mine. Okay, mm -hmm. so you call her up, and how do you, did she know what she was coming to your house for? Well, we had hung out prior to that, you know, we, months prior to that, and then it just, it just got brought up, and. Who brought it up? Well, I did. You did? I did. I had told her that Dusty had never had a threesome before, and we had talked about it, and she agreed, and I agreed. And... So the first time you did it, is that when everything happened? The first no. threesome? No. What no. happened in the first threesome? The, we, just, we just had a threesome. There was no <laughs> No lines were crossed. We just, we just had a lot of fun. So the second one? The second one was... What happened? The second one, I crossed the line. Why? It was the heat of the moment, you know? I mean, it was, we were having fun. I, I don't know. Was anyone using protection? No, because that was one of the lines that wasn't supposed to be crossed. And three weeks later, what happened? She calls three you Three weeks up. later, I get a phone call, and she's like, she's kind of tripping out, and she's, Messina, I'm pregnant. And the only thing I thought was, oh, Could it be any other guy? Um, was it, she in a relationship? She was in a relationship with a, with a man whenever oh. this happened the second time. So that could, it could be him, who's the dad? And, well, she says that he took a DNA test and there was a 0% possibility on this other guy. So it looks like your husband is the father of this baby. Is that what you're well, saying? Well, that's what she says. What do you mean? Uh, she's, she's, she parties, she has fun, you know. Are you saying there could be other guys in the frame? Oh, yes. Now, you said as right. well in that piece of tape that she crosses the line now. She does. How, how she does. did she do that? She tried to, whenever we were all talking about it and she came to my house. No. She bent down and tried to kiss my husband. There's absolutely no On kissing. the cheek? No, on the mouth. Oh. On the mouth. Does she call him names? She like... calls him daddy. She calls him baby. In front of you? 
Oh, yeah. Does she ever try oh, and yeah. touch him or anything like she that? She does. She does. She pets on him and, and you know, she's really? just, babe. So, yeah. do you say anything or? No. No, I don't say anything. Why not? Because I brought her into the relationship sexually. So, you so, think... Right. Was that the last time you three had sex together? Yes, that, that will be the last time. We... That will be the last yeah, time. Yeah. That... How does Dusty feel about all of this? He agrees. Then no more. The end. You know, it's one thing whenever it's behind the closed door, but whenever the door's That's open, we're true. out in public. It's it's not like that. Okay. So now, if this baby is Dusty's, mm -hmm. does that mean do you have kids with Dusty? No, I don't. I can't. I'm, my tubes are tied, and we can't have children. You can't have children. Mm -hmm. So if this is Dusty's child. What does that mean? That means it looks like that we're gonna have to share a baby that's not mine. No, we're not. So how that's do you my feel? baby. Whoa. How mine. do you feel, like, Megan? How do you how do you feel about my that? baby? Not yours. You know what? I was there too, bitch. Well, yeah, I, but last time I checked, you don't have a penis or sperm, so I'm pretty sure you weren't the one that got me pregnant. Whoa. Exactly, exactly. But I put him there, you let him go there. We were all three in the conceiving of this child. So yeah, if, we if, were. If it is but, if it's Dusty's. You hear me? If. Okay, so just a minute. Yeah, if, well, hey, well, well, Megan, we're going to see it in a minute. Let's all hope it's not. Let's all well, hope it's not. Hang on. Just, Don't interrupt. Whoa, 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 whoa. If this baby is Dusty's, mm -hmm. you're going to have a relationship, as it were, with Megan for years and years and years and years and years. No. No, we'll have a relationship with Bryson. No, you will not. With the baby. No. Nope. Right. Right. Now, yes. on nope. the flip side. If you think you're going to keep that baby away, you are mistaken. Oh, well, no. So who would look after the baby? Megan. Well, yeah. no, me and Dusty. Well, you and Dusty? Uh, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna share you and Dusty him. take he, care of my like, child? Share him. That's freaking well, well, horrible. She's not a very good parent. <laughs> As you can see, Megan has been listening and shouting from backstage. So let's find out why she says she's not stealing anyone's husband. In fact, she claims it's Messina trying to steal her baby. Let's meet Megan. Oh, really? Oh. Hi, Megan. Hi. Hi, have a seat. Have a seat. You know what? You were freaking insane. The no, whole four days. You were insane. The whole four days you were at my house, you were gone or asleep. How was I gone? Where how how was I gone? How was you gone? Whenever yeah. I left to take my grandma to the doctor, you didn't tell nobody. You said I'm gonna go outside and smoke a uh, cigarette. No, you that bounced. Is not Did you even you tell anybody you were leaving, Megan? Hey, Messina. Yeah, I told Messina, you. Have I'm a leaving seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right, Megan. So let's talk to you. So let's go back to this threesome. Did you know when you were being invited round to her house, that's what it was for? Yes. Oh, you knew from the get-go. Yeah. So when she engineered this whole thing, were you shocked or? You know, it not. happened. It happened. You weren't using any precautions or anything like no, that? No, because it, it wasn't supposed to turn into that. It was never like that before. It was just strictly oil. Do you think the baby looks like Dusty? I didn't at first until Messina brought it to my attention. Oh, you think he looks like Dusty? Yes, absolutely. You do? Yes. Okay, so now you have this baby. Um, one of the things Messina said, it could be yet another guy. It could be a number of people. Oh, uh, A yeah, number of men? That's yeah. really funny. Why? She's very promiscuous. If this is Dusty's baby, what happens? I don't know. One of the other things Messina was saying is that you've been sort of, you know, stroking Dusty's knee, when calling him I baby. have ever stroked Dusty? You do it all the time. We've given Megan a lie detector test to determine her feelings for Dusty, and Dusty has taken a DNA test. So before we get to those results, let's meet the man in the middle. Let's meet Dusty. Coming up, what is the price for bringing their fantasies to life? I don't understand how you can do that with a man you love. It's fun to watch. It's you've got annoying. another. You've got another. Perhaps another 18 years of excitement. Is there an attraction between you and Megan? Not anymore. And later, he physically threatens me. Gets in my face. The Has he put his hands on you? He's pushed me. Get out. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Lovers' lies and ugly truths. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Today on Trisha. I made a huge mistake bringing Megan into my marriage. For his birthday, we invited Megan over for a threesome. He did not want to have sex with her. I'm the one that crossed the line. Three weeks later, I got a phone call from Megan saying that she was pregnant. You said right. as well in that piece of tape that she crosses the line now. She bent down and tried to kiss my husband. If this baby is Dusty's, what does that mean? 
That means it looks like that we're gonna have to share a baby that's not mine. My baby, not yours. You know what, I was there too, bitch. You were freaking insane. Do you think the baby looks like Dusty? I didn't at first until Messina brought it to my attention. You think he looks like Dusty? Yes, absolutely. As you know, we've given Megan a lie detector test to determine her feelings for Dusty, and Dusty has taken a DNA test. So before we get to those results, let's meet the man in the middle. Let's meet Dusty. Hi, Dusty. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your chair's <laughs> in the middle for very good reason. Hey, Mimi. Hi. So, uh, your wife says uh, that she's bisexual, and what did you say to that? Um, well, it didn't bug me. It didn't bug you at all? No, what, were I there thought any it was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I said I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, were there any conditions to her fooling around with women? Uh, yes. And what was the condition? Well, not basically a condition, but I wanted to be there for it. An audience? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't even necessarily have to participate. participate. So why did you participate? That's just the road it went down that night. Because Messina asked him to. I don't understand how you can do that with a man you love. Where's, well, how's that it's work? the heat of the moment. It was, it's exciting. It's, yeah. it's, it's fun to watch. It's you got another, you got another, perhaps another 18 years of excitement. Let's right. talk about that. Yes. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. So do you think that perhaps uh, Megan is after you as a, as a, as a father to a baby, to be in a relationship. Are you getting those feelings? Well, I think definitely uh, as a father to the baby, if he really? is mine. When, when you contacted me for a DNA test, you That's contacted right, I me. Because I, I wanted to make sure. I didn't contact you guys. Because I wanted to make sure. I never even said anything about it being yours until you called me. Would you like to bring up the baby if the baby's yours? Yeah. I mean, I definitely want to be there for the baby. Do you think the baby looks like you, Dusty? I can't really. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really know. Everybody says you know I mean? so. He's Even just, his own mother says so. There is, there's lots of people that do say that, but I've just never been good at kind of yeah, so judging that stuff. Plus, he's real young. If the baby is yours, that means you've got Megan in your life for the next 18 years. How's no. that feel? Well, no, it's, it's, well, good. Good? No, I won't. Do, is there an attraction between you and Megan? Oh, no. Not really? Anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, first, it's time to clear up a few things. We have the results of Megan's lie detector test, and here to make sense of them is our polygraph administrator, Tim Acosta. So, Tim, are you ready? Yes, I am. Megan, we asked you, do you have romantic feelings for Dusty? You said no. Tim? Coming up... So who wants to open the envelope? Or do you all want to do it together? The DNA results determine that Dusty and later his girlfriend thinks he's using his disability as a cover for cheating. I'm not Here's using it. Here's going to be a problem. I'm okay, not using, let's keep I'm going. Not using Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Because I don't like to, people to tell me that I'm a liar. Lovers' lies and ugly truths. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Today on Trisha. I made a huge mistake bringing Megan into my marriage. For his birthday, we invited Megan over for a threesome. He did not want to have sex with her. I'm the one that crossed the line. Three weeks later, I got a phone call from Megan saying that she was pregnant. You said right. as well in that piece of tape that she crosses the line now. She bent down and tried to kiss my husband. If this baby is Dusty's, what does that mean? That means it looks like that we're gonna have to share a baby that's not mine. My baby, not yours. You know what, I was there too, bitch. You were freaking insane. Do you think the baby looks like Dusty? I didn't at first until Messina brought it to my attention. You think he looks like Dusty? Yes, absolutely. Hi, Dusty. You contacted me for a DNA test? You That's contacted right, I me. Did, I, I didn't contact sure. you guys. Do you think the baby looks like you, Dusty? I don't really know. Well, first, it's time to clear up a few things. We have the results of Megan's lie detector test, and here to make sense of them is our polygraph 
Administrator, Tim Acosta. So, Tim, are you ready? Yes, I am. Megan, we asked you, do you have romantic feelings for Dusty? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Megan was being truthful. Okay. Thank we you. asked you, are you trying to pin the baby on Dusty because he's established? You <laughs> said no. Tim? The polygraph determined Megan was being truthful. Uh, are you shocked at that? Mmm, relieved. So now we have to find out that if your husband is the father of this little yes. boy. So yes. who wants to open the envelope? Um. Or do you all want to do it together? You can do it, actually. We've done enough together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you yeah. have done enough yeah. together. Okay, so I don't <laughs> know what's definitely. in here. Um, the DNA results determine that Dusty is not Bryson's father. Thank God. Thank right. you. <sighs> I'm, Thank I'm God. good. So, here's, here's the thing. Um, I get the impression that, Messina, you were kind of the ringmaster to all of this. It was yes. your desires who got it yes. started, everything. Yep. Yes. You're the one. And in my words, and from where I'm sitting, it sounds like you sexually exploited her for your own personal means. gains. Personal gains. And am I right? Yep. Sure am. The reason I agreed to be involved was because they had done a lot for me. They were really good friends of mine, and I was comfortable with them. So, you know. I'm just so glad you're not the father. Yeah, me too. Okay, me so you kind of got your just desserts with all the worry and yeah. all the freaking out, and yeah. hopefully you have learned and something. And now everything can go back to normal. Mm -hmm. Well, what is your normal? Because your normal <laughs> is very different from mine. <laughs> that won't be happening. Yeah, no. You're not having any more threesomes? No. 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 So you can go your separate ways. Will you have anything to do with each other? Absolutely no. not. Well, no. I better send no. you two as a couple out through that door, and Megan, I'll send out that door. Up next, his girlfriend thinks he's using his disability as a cover for cheating. I'm not Here's using it. Okay, not using, let's keep I'm going. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Because I don't like to, people to tell me that I'm a liar. Today, issues much bigger than cheating will be exposed. He physically threatens me, gets in my face. Has he put his hands on you? He's pushed me. Get out. You are the power. Get off my <laughs> Lovers' lies and ugly truths. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Today on Trisha. I am a walking miracle, bottom line. A few years ago, I was in a terrible accident. I should probably be dead right now. The accident caused me to suffer from seizures and memory loss. So when Nikki gets in my face about messages on Facebook, I don't even remember that. When it comes back that I pass this test, I want her to get on her hands and knees and apologize to me. Is it true he gave you an STD? He did, because I know I've been faithful. So, so let, he me, doesn't, let he me cut to the chase. Okay. What are you going to do if the lie detector test comes back and says he's been cheating? I'm done. I'm really? done. She's saying that I'm cheating yeah. and doing all this stuff. I am not cheating. The sexually transmitted disease yeah, she got. What, what, what about it? I didn't bring it to her. We asked you, when Nikki contracted chlamydia, did you give it to her as a result of you cheating with another woman? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Mike was being truthful. We asked you, are you cheating on Nikki and using your disability, your seizure disorder, as an excuse to cover up your infidelity? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Mike was not being truthful. I'm not There's using. There's gonna be a problem. I'm not okay, using, let's keep I'm going. I'm not using. I'm not using. I'm not using my home, excuses. Let's hear yeah, the next question. Because when, we get, home, hey, hey, when hey, we get back home, I'm gonna take you another test. Hey, 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 When we get back home, I'm gonna take another test. Do you wanna hear test. the next one? Yes. I'm gonna take we another test. We asked you in the past year. Uh, we asked you. Obviously, you are. No, obviously, whoever took the test, whoever took the test was. Because I did not. I ain't lying on nothing. I watch him every day and he proves right. I watch so this whole exactly. show every day. Hey, I watch so you every day. Shall we keep going? No, Are you no. just trying to stop us from reading the last no, one? No, you please, can read them please. all. We yeah. asked you in the past Birth year, during your relationship with Nikki, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman other than her? No. You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Mike was not being truthful. Yeah, that's a shock. Really? Man, that's really? Not true. That's really? Not true. On that's everything? Not true. That's I'm not true. there for you. I'm 
I'm here for you. I'm here for you. No, I am not having sex with nobody. I am there for you. What is it that I ain't had sex with nobody. I had sex with nobody else. Why? Nobody else. If I didn't give you chlamydia, how am I having sex with anybody else? Why is the test If I gave you chlamydia, answer that question. Answer that question. If I didn't have sex with nobody else, how did I have sex with nobody else? Stop shouting on national TV. Sex with anybody else. National TV, and you still can't be true. Answer this question for me. Sit down. Answer the question. Mike, have a seat. Mula, I, I want to sit right here. I don't want to sit next to her. Okay. I want right. to ask right. her. Mike, I want to ask her. Just a minute. Just a minute. I want to ask hey. her. If I say I love you, why would I go and have sex with anybody else? If I didn't give you, did I give you, did I give you chlamydia? Just a minute. Just a minute. Answer that question. Read that question again. Just a minute. Can you read that question? No, just a minute. Let me speak. Just for a moment. I know you're shouting and what have you, but listen. Because I wouldn't lie. That's why I'm shouting. If the lie detector got it right that you love her and all those other things. Exactly. Well, it can't be selective. It either, either is all wrong or all right. It can be right. selective when they ask him in different different uh, things. Well, we're at home. Yeah. This is the type of stuff he gets uh, mad like this and he needs I to I get mad her. because I don't be lying. What Let's does that take mean? a lie detector test about you then. We can do it. Let's oh. go. Hey, 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 hey. Look, if one of the things. we can do it, we can go. Just a minute. Let's one go. of the things we that I've learned, Mike. We can't do it. She Mike. can't do one? This is the sort of reaction people give when they're lying. No, Isn't that strange? No, and they this, don't is, listen. Sort of they shout, this is the sort they of reaction. This is the sort of this is the sort of reaction that people. And they don't this listen. is. The, I'll talk quiet. Okay, this is the, if she can shut up, I'll Calm tell you. Down. This is the sort of reaction mm -hmm. people give when they don't want to take lie detector okay. tests when they know they're All lying. Right. Now, two of the things that I've noticed. I watch this show. People, I know what people when do. When people shout and scream like that and then deflect it and say, "Let the other person take it," that to me is a surefire way of lying. Tim, with your 20-year experience, or anything you want to say? Trisha, he was preparing for these answers before I read them and you read them by I saying what he said. I know. Okay? Yeah. He says that, you know, he's willing to take the test again if they come yeah, out wrong. Yeah, I know. I know. I've done 20-something years. For it. Thing. I know. He knew what the answers were yeah. going to be. So I want to know, if, he, if, if I read you lie detector test, and I read the questions to this you. This is classic. You, you, if I read you, the lie detector why test, why do you act reacting like someone who's lying? Because I don't like when lying. people call me a liar. He had significant reactions to the questions. I asked him more than one time. I didn't ask you just one time. Okay. I went over the questions ahead of time with you. Okay, in the pre-test. All of them? Yes, I did. All of them? Okay. We've got it all on tape. All of them? All on tape. Just, I went over oh, all the questions time. with you. Like someone who's lying. Because I don't like to, people to tell me that I'm a liar. Mike, you're not Listen, a liar. You thanks. just you Listen need to, to get out of a tight position. You are in love with no, her. No, no, you're out telling of a me that position. I'm a liar. I'm when telling I, you, when you are untruthful. Me, to untru certain untruthful yeah. is calling somebody a liar. Because I want, I want you, you to read the questions again. I want you to tell me the questions again because you said you're gonna read the questions. You're gonna read. Really? Or whatever. Like just I'm a minute. Calling, just I'm a calling, minute. I'm I want to hear no, this. No, she's talking about getting stuff out of my no, apartment. No, 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 no. Yes, she is. He threatened you. There for a year. Paid my rent. ID, paid rent. My paid rent. Your rent. Did Thanks. you say that he threatens you? Yes, he threatens me all the time and Does my family. Pay? He physically threatens me. Gets in my face. Has he, he ever? You tell me you got in the fight with your Has he ever put his hands on you? He's pushed me. Go, get, Have you pushed me? Get out. Because it's not a healthy relationship. Well, I'll tell you what, it ain't if healthy. It's not a healthy I'll relationship. I'll get out. Leave. I'll get out. Okay? Whether he was like this before or this is because he's of his. He's been like this. Like, this is this. Like, he's been like this, but I thought that I could change him because I no, love him. No. You, if he has any medical condition or head injury, and head injury and this sort of aggression is common with people who've had head injury, your love and what you can give him is not going to change anything. It's hard because I've changed my life so much to be with this man. Like, no, you change. You don't change your life for someone else. You change your life for you. You needed to change your life for you. Okay. Change your life because you need to stop calling your boyfriend a liar. Is what you need to stop doing. Baby, listen. It ain't no okay. baby. It ain't no baby right now. Because number you... one, on that piece of paper, okay. I did not lie. We've moved on I did from not that lie. subject. I haven't. I am going. I'm going to tell you. I did not lie. One of the effects of severe head trauma for some people is aggression and loss of control. And Nikki has just confided to me that she is fearful of you. Never mind about cheating or that. She's scared of you. I don't know why she's scared of me. The main question that I was here to get, the main, the main, look, the main That is not the main issue. The main issue is that you're frightened of him, that I he's an intimidating. Then you need to get out. It doesn't matter about any of this. You do not stay with someone through fear or anything you know else. What? Scratch it. I'll go have brain surgery that they told me to my face could kill me. I'll go have brain surgery. Are you going to be faithful then? On my brain. Yeah. If it comes back, if I'm able to walk and talk, yeah. Oh, you're going to be so when you, I had so a, you when did I had, cheat? When I had so a, you did when, cheat on me? When, no. 
No! Oh, yes, so you no. care about it. Okay. You better get out of my face. No, no, no! To everybody, I have not cheated on you. All right. I did not fail to lie to touch your test. Nikki, Whoever he is Nikki. is wrong. You can't change anyone except yourself. Right. So if you want to go, one of our security people will take you through there, go and talk to our counsellor. But I think you know what the real issue is. You want to keep coming back to cheating, cheating? Cheating never, ever physically hurts somebody. Aggression does. Love is lies and ugly truths. Why are you acting like someone who's lying? Today on Trisha. So listen, I want to thank you for watching. Your uh, being here today has been really important because we've had a lot of bad weather around now. And because of the snow, check this out. We've just done a show with no audience. Um, so it's just me and the crew here and our guests. So as usual, we did real stories about real people with some real solutions in an empty studio. Thank you for making me feel a little less lonely. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.